Welcome back, Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. If any of you guys are new here because our subscribers are booming up, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I am Blake. Um, my neighbor just called me. It's about to get dark. I just got home from work, and my neighbor called me saying that his pig got into my yard. So there's a wild boar inside my yard right now, and it's not Willie. It's completely intact, and it was chasing moors. It was chasing all the goats. It was chasing everybody, and we got to get it three houses down. So let's see how this goes and follow along. All right, you guys, you see over there? Its name is Bubbles. Everybody is scared of it. It walks around and it, everyone's scared. Look, God, let's go. I had to lock up the goats because the goats were scared of it. If you guys look closely, look at Gatti, Lola, and the two males. They are so scared of this pig. They keep on running away from it. Moors knows, everybody knows. Look, look, here they come. They keep on running. Let's get this pig going. You guys all right? What happened? Everyone knows. Where's this pig at? He's gonna pump around the corner in a second. See how Gatti's acting? Acting like there's a coyote here. And there's a freaking pig. All right, it's good that's over there. Let's get it. Let's get it going. There he is. Bubbles, what are you doing? Yeah, his name is Bubbles and he's, uh, I heard he's not too nice. So Bubbles, you gotta go that way. Come on, Bubbles. Come on. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun, you guys. What? So Bubbles has to go far that way. Let's try to get him to go. It's dry, so you got, oh! Look at you guys. He's coming around, looking around the corner and everything. We're gonna get this guy going. Look at the cow. Everybody is full eyes on this damn pig. Bubbles, relax, we're gonna bring you back home. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Bubbles. Come on. I have no idea how he got in here. He was in here just chasing everybody around all day long. Well, hopefully he knows how to go home. They're pretty smart. <laughs> Come on, Bubbles. Turned into a rescue mission. Yep, exactly, <laughs> exactly what it is. Yeah, you gotta get around him, Blake. Relax. You gotta get in front of him. It's okay, Bubbles. Bubbles that way. That way. Bubbles disappeared. We have to find him. Let's see where Bubbles went. Mission continues. A few moments later. Bubbles! No. Oh, he's right there. there he is. He's right this side, yeah. Let him walk, let him walk, let him walk. There he is. <laughs> the owner's here. That's my buddy, Rick. He got into a driveway? Huh? He reached him into a driveway, man. Huh? I don't know how he got in there. You guys just stay right there? Yeah, push him off. Come on. Look at his face. I know he's gonna be, he's He's enjoying it. He's playing with you, he knows it. Come on, come on. At least it's not hot, so they can't really pass out right now. There you go. There you go. Come on. All right, where are you going? Oh, this is going to be fun. Get ready for the food. He's going to move the stuff down. Oh, perfect. All right, you guys, we just came back from dropping off Bubbles at his house. Um, he's back home, hopefully he doesn't do a break escape again, gets out of his enclosure, and doesn't come back and messes with all my goats again. Before it gets any more dark, any more dark? 
darker here in South Florida, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to do some produce. I have to go feed some tortoises. And then while we're over there, we're going to be talking a little bit about Willie and just doing a little bit of things around the ranch like we always do. So stay tuned. Yeah, I get a lot of produce, you guys, from a lot of different places. Um, everything. I get collard greens. I get romaine. I get. I get everything. But this stuff is steaming right now. And then, when you go to the grocery store, they got wrappers around your stuff, so you gotta go through it all because all this stuff is. You gotta go through all these little wrappers and everything, so the tortoises don't get it. My everyday life is going through lettuce. Play with a lot of lettuce. Yep. So here we are, you guys. We're here with Willie. And compared to Willie's and Bubbles, Bubbles was very skittish of us because he didn't know who we were until the owner came. When the owner came, my buddy, when he shook that jug of food, he came, came straight running towards us. Uh, Willie likes peaches. He likes everything. And he'll eat from my hand. Look at those tusks, you guys. Those things are crazy. Yummy. So, yeah. His tusks are getting very large and he becomes even, he's already aggressive, he only likes me, he doesn't like anybody else. So you just have to be careful when you're around him. But other than that, he's a good little guy. I've had him since he was a little baby. Maybe I can show you guys in another video or something. I'm gonna find a picture of him and I can show you guys what he looks like as a little baby. A little piglet. Willie's around five, six years old now. There you go. Good boy, Willie. And every single night, every single night, you guys, he goes inside and sleeps inside his cage, inside the barn, inside the air conditioning. He gets his pig food, his Missouri pig food, every single day inside of there. He only comes out during the day and then at night goes inside the house. So let's go all out and let's go feed some of the rest of the tortoises. And yeah, let's go do that. While all these Herman tortoises are eating right now, I am going to be doing positive shout out all the time now. I told you guys before I was gonna be doing that and today's positive shout out is gonna be going to Betty Boo. She said, I love all your videos, but this was just amazing. They're huge about the Galapagos tortoises in my last video. My son enjoyed this, great job to my favorite youngin. I really appreciate it. And like again, you guys, make sure you put a positive comment on every single one of my videos and I will be picking one or two people every single video, every other video. And make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and a thank you again, you guys. Too many words. All right, you guys, we are inside my adult yellowfoot tortoise enclosure and I'm giving everybody some produce. They're gonna get some Missouri tortoise chow also. The yellowfoots are doing amazing. I have some monster females in here, as you can see. Look how big these females are. Huge girls. They are breeding up a storm. They're laying eggs up a storm but I still can't figure out how to, they're not fertile yet. I'm not sure why, um, but I'm not gonna give up. Hopefully down in the future, I'll be able to have some offspring off these guys, but these guys are amazing. I have a 2.10 in here, meaning people are always asking what's 2.10 mean or 5.10, whatever the heck. Um, whatever, it's the first number, those are the males, then the period, and then after that's the female. So two males, 0.10 females. That's what's in this group right here. And then I got from a donation, I got in a juvenile home, not juvenile, a little bit bigger, uh, Brown mountain tortoise. Let me see where he's at real quick. I'm gonna grab him and show you guys him. He's pretty cool. Let's see where he's at. Oh, there he is. So like the blacks that I have, this is a brown one. Another species, real cool. This is a male, but um. so now I need to find females to start off another project. So he's just in here with the other foot for now until I find a bunch of females and then I'll have a whole nother separate enclosure just for them. All right, so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of Missouri tortoise shell, sprinkle it around in here. For the larger tortoises, I really don't like soaking it down because I like it to be a little harder for them so they can break it with their mouths and their beaks and stuff. That's to help them probably wear down their beaks so I don't have to worry about shaving or doing anything of that sort. Yeah, just throw a little bit of Missouri on, on the food and then at the same time, you ready? This is what I do. Throw it all in the yard, all in the whole enclosure so they have to go scavenge for it and 
makes them hunt for the food and look like they're in the wild finding their own things. Well, you guys, this is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Doing a little chase, chasing bubbles. Give you guys a little bit more information because there's, there's information on these videos all the time. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow or the next day whenever I make another video. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you guys later. Peace out, you guys.